Our world has seen many challenges emerging over the last few years. From war raging in Europe to the use of potentially disruptive new technologies such as artificial intelligence or AI, the world is changing at an unprecedented pace, demanding a high level of vigilance from its nations and allies. Locked Shields is one of the biggest international live-fire cyber exercises in the world, challenging its participating teams for 15 consecutive years. One of the key elements of Locked Shields is that it's not just a annual repeat of the previous exercise. So each year we look at what we can include, um, new aspects we incorporate, what we can develop and enhance based upon real-world events, but also feedback from previous participants. So in addition to a live fire technical cyber defense element, we have included additional aspects of strategic communications, the information environment, uh, and a much more um, absorbing and integrated exercise. And this is very challenging for the training audience because they have to um, have these additional elements in their team, which they wouldn't normally have. So we could have the technical elements, people actually defending the systems, but they need to talk to media, legal and the strategic communications elements because that will influence their prioritisation on the systems they are looking to defend. Locked Shields 2024 takes place in a fictitious scenario with a close resemblance to the real world. The training audiences participating role play as a like minded nation, Beryllia, who is attempting to defend itself against a hostile neighbouring adversary called Crimsonia. The exercise is all about uh, uh, training as you fight. Uh, how we do it is basically using the military capabilities, the civilian capabilities, private sector people, academia, and also our allies. So we would be able to face such a crisis. Uh, in real life as well. The systems that we are defending are vital for every society, whether it's, uh, whether it's energy, whether it's uh, weapon systems to protect you in case of uh, during the war, or uh, whether it's simply kind of uh, websites that provide information for the society. While all of the Blue Team's members are chosen and assembled from various different sources, there is one thing they all have in common. They are facing the same hostile Red Team which is located with the EPG in Tallinn. We are attacking absolutely everything on the game net. So we are attacking everything from websites to the power and gas delivery networks, doing some uh, quite sophisticated attacks with uh, real damage, or really impact in the context of the exercise. Uh, we do try to keep it fresh in the raid team, so that means that every year, even though we have some great stuff built for the last year, this time uh, we will still uh, come up with new attacks, new tooling. Besides the war in Ukraine, nothing has challenged NATO and the nation states worldwide more than the emergence of artificial intelligence. With this rapidly advancing technology comes with it fake news, disinformation and other dark motives which can be weaponized on a scale and at a speed which is unprecedented. As part of strategic communications, track this year, we are offering a simulated information environment where we provide immersive circumstances for our training audience to experience SWATCOM related tasks on social media, on digital media and other relevant platforms. Strategic communications track is a result of close cooperation between Strategic Communications Center of Excellence located in Riga and CCDCOE located here in Tallinn. When it comes to cyber defense, cooperation is key. CCDCOE's purpose is to support our nations and NATO to be able to face uh, cyber threats as a coalition. That means a lot of cooperation and we do as a center research, concept development and experimentation, education and training activities and most importantly exercises. Luxshields is the most advanced and complex exercise that brings together all our 39 uh, member nations and allies to uh, practice cyber defense as a coalition. As a cyber defense exercise, the technical aspects of the game are the backbone of this training. As the organizing entity, 
It falls on the CCD COE to provide the in-game infrastructure to allow for a successful operation. Green Team is quite challenging because we need to create system, we need to maintain them, and we need to be sure that it's always, always working. We need to be sure that uh, Red Team is not doing something wrong. We need to be sure that Blue Team is not doing something wrong. Green Team is constituted by people sent by nations, so this is also what we are getting. We need to deal with that. So we need to take also bet that system will work. If the system doesn't work, we are responsible for it. So even if we don't know the technology, then we need to learn it and try to fix it. So it means that two days, if someone has an issue, time for us to investigate, figure out if it's the problem of the blue team itself, or if it's us, or if it's red team, or if it's something, it needs to answer us up. So that's why the expert of the system themselves directly here. As Lot Shields 2024 is all about cooperating, it makes sense to understand the principles of cooperation also when it comes to planning all the operational aspects of the exercise. Therefore, the CCD COE cooperates with a wide variety of partners to evolve locked shields. In a constantly changing security environment, after this exercise is over, a new exercise begins.